okay so <clears throat> we are on the nsc website we are going to look at this particular chain called this particular section called equity derivative option chain you to understand certain terminologies so you would see this kind of a price chart now the underlying asset here is an index called nifty 6266.75 so the way options can be written on individual stocks options can also be written on indexes now see what do we say i have a right to buy or i have a right to sell but when underlying asset is index what do i buy index but how do we deliver index index cannot be delivered it's just a number so how does it work there is something there are two ways of settlement there is something called as cash settlement and then there is something called as delivery so think of it this way now you have a right to buy something at a price of 100 rupee and you've already in the past paid a premium of some xyz amount spot price turned out to be 150 it's a call option of course what will happen in delivery the person who is long will give 100 to the short short in return will give him an asset whatever the underlying asset was which was worth 150 so long could buy 100 rupee asset at 150 he made profit of 50 short had to sell it at a cheaper price he made losses of 50 in cash settlement what happens is that what short will simply say to long that i will pay you 50 rupees don't give me that 100 you have your 100 you take my 50 if you want go to the market and buy the asset right so this is called as a cash settlement so is this clear so when yes or no how much was the profit to the long 50 so what short said is i am not going to deliver the asset it's a cash settlement let me pay you 50 if you want to buy the asset you have your own 100 rupees take my 50 go and buy in the market cash settlement instead of delivery the settlement is done in cash so when the underlying asset is an index delivery is not possible and therefore the only possible settlement is a cash settlement okay now what we have in the center here is strike prices the spot price as of now spot price means the price today is 6266.75 strike price starts from 4500 with a interval of 50 which is a very recent addition to nifty because earlier that interval used to be of 100 points okay so i think almost a month month and a half back they've made the changes in the regulation so 4500 4600 4700 from this fashion strike price starts from 4500 to 7850 now who decides these strike prices buyer will decide that or seller sebi did sebi decide the strike prices sellers decided so from what where to start who decided that we should start from 4500 and end at 7850 okay i'll give you three choices a sebi b buyer c seller the answer is d nsc exchange <laughs> so nsc decided that we have to see it's a product they are offering it's a service okay nsc national stock exchange of india limited so it's a limited company and exchange is a profit making business so they want to make good service available so that people come do the transactions and exchange will earn brokerages or commissions out of it so they decided that strike price has to be 4500 and 7850 at the bottom now as a buyer and seller you get to choose out of these so this range these sets of products are made available you get to choose what is the maturity so that we can see here expiry date 38 jan 2014 we are on 26 that means it's going to expire in about 4 days from now now if i want i do not want a 4 day expiry i want 26 february i can choose that if i want further expiry so all these choices are available to me now who decided these expiry dates a b c d it was again decided by exchange so now if you would see that there is a option contract available which expires on 27th december 
which means today if you buy that contract you have a right to buy nifty in 2018 at a pre specified price imagine that okay but of course now if you go and see 2018 though this is made available do you see anyone buying and selling it no so exchange has created the platform say that if someone wants to buy and sell we have that framework ready but of course there is no one willing to buy and there no one willing to sell and therefore no one willing to buy so let's come back to the immediate expiry now can you see the difference in colors here this is slightly yellowish and that's more of pinkish or whitish so why do they have it here now observe this carefully 6266 the left hand side is call options as of now we'll stick to call options 6250 above this it's in a darker color and below this it's slightly whitish so why have they changed the colors here why have they changed the colors can you guess because the options which are in slightly yellowish color are the options which are called in the money options okay what is in the money think of it this way now let me write down i have a right to buy at 6250 some asset which is in the market 6266 6250 6266 if the scenario remains same will i buy yes i will buy so when the answer is yes i will buy or yes i will sell that means there is some benefit of buying and selling and then this is called being in the money okay so when you exercise an option and it gives you some positive payoff then we simply say that option is in the money now imagine that on the rate of expiry 4 days from now that spot price becomes exactly 6250 so when the stock spot price and strike price is same we say that options are at the money okay but carefully observe the last one here that current spot price is 6266 we have a strike price of 6300 here can you see this so strike price of 6300 for a call option what does it mean i have a right to buy at 6300 price in the market is 6266 will i buy no i will not why will i buy expensive i have a right to buy at 6300 i will not buy which means this option is called out of the money are we clear hmm so what they have done is only by looking at the color you can find out that the options above 6250 all these in this range are in the money and all on this range are out of the money options the same logic works for the put option okay so how does it work some asset which is 6266 i have a right to buy at six, right to sell at 6300 do i get a right to sell at a higher price yes in the money So below this 6600, right to sell at 6600 in the money, but right to sell at 5800 out of the money because we are selling at a lesser price. So in case of put option is the other way round, the bottom ones are in the money and the white one again at the top ones are out of the money. Is this clear? Hmm. Any questions or doubts? Hmm. 